what's going on people just wanted to make a little video here of my setup um, I'm on these Facebook groups and I got a bunch of people on here just uh, posting pictures and stuff of their of their setup and man some people just be you know they make it so complicated uh, so I wanted to come on here and just show everybody my setup and just how simple it really is uh, it might be somewhat of a tight fit because um, well, let me show you as you can see here I got like my trailer and my little boat uh, right next to it but um dude six and a half by 12 foot trailer okay I utilize this space up here to uh, mount the the beast so to speak it's a uh, 690 with a TSF 2021 eight and a half gallon a minute pump whatever it sits here I put some wood there as you can see bolted it down it don't go nowhere and it really helps with uh, the tongue weight when my tanks empty so this is my water tank okay as you can see it unloads straight into the tank and then it feeds through down here uh, some plumbing goes whoop, straight into my machine right uh, battery I have it uncovered I gotta charge it um, it charges with the machine but it, it's, if it sits for a while or if I use a 12 volt uh, too often it kind of just weakens it that doesn't charge it up fast enough so I every once in a while I like to put on a, a battery charger and just bring it all the way to the top okay surface cleaner sideways going here um, SH tank I still got some in there I got about 80 gallons um, I also do lawn care so you guys know I do a have a full lawn care service um, I'm only one guy so I got one mower I do just a few accounts you know something to kind of keep me keep me busy when the pressure washing kind of slows down a bit during the summer here um, so sure I have my rack that I built cut pieces of metal just kind of bolted it all together uh, framed it out ladders go on top rack on the side you guys get the deal huh garbage can for whatever blower just kind of sits here I have it strapped down there with that don't go nowhere built a little frame there so that my mower when I drive it up on here doesn't fucking crash into the to the tank my gun I just laid there it. excuse me for the wind guys it's kind of windy over here today um, SH tank, same size as my water tank. This is uh, usually like a 50-50 mix like I, I roll around with. Um, if, if I do have a lot of houses, uh, just depending on what I'm doing, I will just fill it with straight SH to like about 80 gallons. Have that to like either draw from and downstream or, um, or mix it on site if I have to. But 50-50 usually gets away, gets away with everything. Uh, I don't ever need anything stronger than that. At least, if I had, if I have, um, I'll just hit it twice. You know, what, what am I, what am I wasting? 10, 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be super, super, instantly hot all the time. But 50/50 um, is a good starting point for me. If it's less, if I, if, if I, if I don't need that strong of a mix, then I'll just let it sit for a less period of time. Rinse it off quickly, you know, that kind of deal. But yeah, um, about 300 feet of chemical hose here on the Hene. It is an electric reel. Um, it's not beautiful. I do use this. I've had it for fucking several years, uh, and it works awesome. Um, yes, I use laundry soap, guys. That's what I mix my SH with, laundry soap. Not no lemon, gutter, butter, whatever the crap bullshit, you know, soap you guys are using. I mean, I'm not to knock on any of that stuff, but it's, it's unnecessary, dude. A, a five-gallon jug of that stuff is like $100 when you can get <laughs> a lot more out of uh, laundry soap. and It works great. It smells awesome. Um, and, it's you know, some of the laundry soaps out there you can even mix with bleach with no issues, so... Yes, Henny, I do have a makeshift uh, proportioner, so to speak, or whatever you want to call this little setup. It's just two ball valves, 
One goes to my 12 volt, which is right there. North Star, seven gallon a minute. Uh, things and animal, excuse the little basketball. That's my son, he throws it here. Yes, a light switch, super rigged, works great, can't complain, hasn't failed in shoot in a long time. Um, the pumps do go out. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you they last forever, but I, you know, on it with if 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 you get lucky. Now, I've had pumps that go out after two months. I've had pumps that have lasted me shit almost a year. Uh, this one's been on here for about a year now, almost. I rinsed it out thoroughly. So the bottom, you know, one ball valve here goes to the chemical. This one's water. The newer ball valve is always the chemical one because it's one that does leak off more often than the water. So the water tends to like fade and burn out because of the sun. So yeah, it's still working. Uh, one's water, one's chemical, open water, close chemical, close water, open the chemical um, ball valve or whatever, and vice versa sort to of flush out the pump. So yeah, yeah. Guys, quick, let me show you this real quick. This ball valve right here, if you are using ball valves, the roof, the roof cleaner or whatever, this ball valve right here is the shit. Let me see if I can get here. Screenshot that. Do whatever you got to do. Three quarter inch ball valve. These are for chemical. These are the ones you want to use for SH. These are the ones that are on the uh, fill stations at like your pool supply or whatever. Those ball valves last forever. And if those ones that are at the pool supply are on there sitting with straight SH on them, these, if you actually flush them out and rinse them out and, and, and you know, maintain them, <laughs> I have that thing. I've had that thing there for, we're, we're coming on in a year now. Um, and not even, no issues, nothing. Pipe though, it's not even like a pipe sealant. It's not even Teflon. You don't want to use Teflon. You don't want to expand it. You don't want to crack it or anything like that. Uh, but they're great ball valves for that. Uh, moving along here. I have two Titan reels. Guys, please excuse the, the rust and the wear. It's not beautiful and shiny because I use it and I've had it for a long time. Um, I, I guess I do got to grease up these ball valves, these uh, swivels. It's been a while, but no leaks, no nothing. Um, we have two electric reels. Okay, I got about 200 feet on there. About 100 feet of hose there. This is Harbor Freight hose. Okay, not no fucking Gorilla or whatever the fuck. Uh, you know, super strong, durable, $100 hose. This is 20 bucks, $21 at Harbor Freight. Works great. This hose, this hose is super strong. It's like super hard. It fucking works great. Um, 200 feet of pressure hose that's all I need I got an extra 50 foot in the back of my truck just in case but I haven't really found I haven't really needed much more than that if I gotta pull up the 50 foot extension um, then I'm pretty far away uh, so yeah I try not to be because I don't want to lose any pressure you know but yeah my gas tank after I built this whole thing to kind of hold the reels up and everything um sits down there it's kind of trapped down there because now I got to get it through my pump if I ever got to take it out but it's you know it's good six gallons last a while yeah man that's my setup but very simple guys very simple look goes from the ball valve From the ball valve, let me see here, yeah, from the pump, no, from the ball valve, straight through here, I'm talking like straight into my tank guys, I think I have a little piece of PVC in the bottom, kind of wedged, like a little 45 or something like that, just to kind of like hold it down or whatever, but <clears throat> that's it. <laughs> 
um, this here piece of hose from here and it shoots straight into here and that's just my fill hose boom shoots right into my tank fills it up you know simplicity simplicity guys keep it simple uh, yeah man, that's my setup dude pretty easy pretty easy i have a drain somewhere there in the side i don't know if you can see it but whatever for the tank it drains back there i don't know i'm sorry it drains over here i used to have it back there i moved it see that right there shoots to the ball valve and there i can open and close and then flush out my soft wash system which is right there so come you know sh water done no third tank no 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 just 50 50 all day long if i feel like i need less or more i don't ever go higher than stronger than 50 50. rarely and almost never because i can just always hit it twice surface cleaners pretty filthy you know what i was thinking about buying a small but pressure washer to clean my rig, but I just I just use mine. Um, shovels and stuff. I, like I said, I do I do lawn care as well. And yeah, man, this mower, bad little mower, man. I love it. 36 gets it in and out of backyards, no problem. But that's a whole lawn care side of things. And yeah, Northern Tools, Hammerhead, Northern Tools. Um, works awesome. I did change out the bit, the, the the swivel on it. Uh, I got from a BE all the way. Got the swivel off that. And yeah, there it is, guys. Simple setup, simplicity. Hope you guys like the video. Um, you know, comment below. Or whatever you want to do. If you have any questions, let me know. You're more than happy to help you guys out.